We're in the lab where Lonnie's going to show us the reaction of alkali metals with water. The first is sodium. As you place sodium metal in water, a reaction will occur where the sodium is oxidized or ionized to sodium plus, while the water is reduced. Now, the reduction of water releases a tremendous amount of energy, but in this case, the ionization of sodium requires a significant amount of energy. In fact, they about equalize each other, so this reaction is quite subdued. The energy required to ionize the sodium is offset by the energy released by the reduction of the water. Now let's look at the reaction with potassium. Potassium has a lower ionization energy. So when potassium is ionized, a lower amount of energy is required, the same amount of energy is released when the water is reduced, so this reaction proceeds more vigorously. If we go one element down the periodic table to rubidium, a lower ionization energy, we should see more of the energy that's released when water is reduced for the rubidium metal. And indeed, that reaction happened so quickly, we should watch it again in slow motion. The fourth metal in the series, francium, has the lowest ionization energy of all, so we should see virtually all the energy from the water reduction being released. So here's francium and water chemical reaction. 